Welcome to French Friday. Is this CDR a baby CDP? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? If not, BRB. Action! What is up, everybody? Today, we are going to France, to the Rhone Valley, to see if the Celia de Dauphin 2018 Reserve is a 97-point wine that was given by decanter. Now, the Rhone Valley is, a, is in the southern part of France. It's a warmer weather, it's a warmer region where they grow a lot of Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre, more of that warmer weather varietal, more of those wa warmer weather varietals. Compared to domestically, the central coast of California also grows those warmer weather varietals. Now CDR is Cote de Rhone. That's an appellation in the, in the Rhone Valley that is very, very well known. Lots of, uh, lots of wine comes out of that particular region. And we're gonna see if this CDR is a baby CDP. CDP is Chateauneuf de Pauf. Chateauneuf de Pauf is a, one of the most heralded wine regions in France, known for their very long aging Grenaches and Syrahs that come out of that region. Um, a lot of their, the wines that come from the Rhone Valley have a very similar quality to them, very light but nice uh, combination of red and dark fruits and have really, really good aging potential. But let's give this a, let's check this wine out. First thing I notice is, of course, the color. Okay, the color is a dark ruby. It reminds me of a really dark domestic pinot. Um, nothing, uh, n nothing overly dark, like a dark Cabernet or, um, some of the other uh, Bordeaux varietals. It's, it's relatively a dark ruby, light around the edges. I can actually see through it, but it's not as uh, it's not as light as as a, a burgundy. Um, so it's a little darker than that. So it's a it's a nice color, um, but it's you can tell it's pretty light, light in color. Let's give this a sniff. Very aromatic on the nose. A candied nose, a little bit of a fructose. A little, I can smell a little sugar on this, on, on the, on this bouquet. Red and dark fruits. I can't really distinguish them, but I know it's like a red and dark fruit bouquet. Some cotton candy. I'm getting a little bit of cotton candy action, which I like because it tells me there's a lot, there's some fruit there. Also some. Sweet vanilla, like vanilla pudding, a vanilla cream, and the little bit of earthiness I get comes in the form of red man tobacco, straight up like red man, you know, put it, it's just a sweet tobacco, uh, a little bit of that sweet tobacco um, nose. Let's give it a whirl. And once again, for those of you who don't know, no spit bucket for this boy. Homie, don't play that. This is a very smooth wine. I'm, it, it, I actually in, enjoy the smooth quality of this wine. Light tannins. The fruit is a combination of red and dark fruits. The Grenache gives a little, uh, some of that red fruit, like the red raspberry, dark strawberry, and then the Syrah gives it a little bit more of a blue, a blue component, like a blueberry, a little blueberry, maybe a little, not really blackberry, but going towards a blackberry, a little darker. Dark. So the combination of red and dark fruits. Mm. This is a, a round wine. It's round. It's, it's very uh, it's 
sensual, covers all parts of the palette. It's light. It's somewhat of a one trick pony, meaning that there's not a lot going on in this wine, but at $12, this wine is super smooth. It's easy to drink. It's a good entry level wine for someone looking to get into more of the red wine um, category. This wine is a solid for $12. I'm gonna have to give this wine 89 points. 89 points. I think this is a wine that a lot of your friends are going to like. You can bring it to uh, lots of lots of situations, parties, uh, get to family get-togethers, and everybody's going to like this wine because it's just so smooth and silky and easy to drink. I don't believe it's a 97 point wine. It's a little bit too um, doesn't really quite have the secondary flavors of some of your you know, of, of some of your sh chefs and de puffs. You know that that bring a little bit more minerality and all these other other flavors uh, along with the wine but i do think it's a solid wine and for 12 bucks it's a, definitely a bargain i highly recommend this wine question for you guys what french wine are you drinking today comment below subscribe to my channel if you haven't i love you guys look forward to seeing you again soon